have a look at this bird. This bird flies, it makes sound, it uses food as fuel to move, and then consider this plane. It flies, it makes sound, it uses petrol as fuel to move. But how can we tell which one is living and which one's non-living? We are surrounded by so many things that move and make sound, things that eat and things that don't. So how do we know if something is living? In this video, we are going to explore how we can go about classifying things as living or non-living things. There are seven key characteristics of living things. This first one is not included in one of those characteristics, but it's important to know that all living things are made up of cells. There are different types of cells. There are plant cells and animal cells. And even within that, there's other categories of cells. Like in an animal or a human, you have different cells for the brain. Um, you've got skin cells, liver cells, um, all of which are specialized to make sure that each part of the body um, functions appropriately. There are things that are made up of one cell, even, even an organism made up of only one cell is still considered to be a living thing. And there are others that are made up of many cells, which we call multicellular. All living things reproduce. They produce offspring. This can happen sexually, so giving offspring half the DNA from each parent or some living things can reproduce asexually, making an exact copy of themselves. An example of this would be some types of plants, like strawberries. All living things grow. All living things grow and get bigger over time as they age. Plants and animals and humans, they all grow as their cells replicate over time. All living things need to have an intake of nutrients and to be able to get rid of waste. Nutrient intake occurs in different ways. As humans, we eat food while plants draw in nutrients from the soil. Respiration is essential for all living things. Internal respiration is a chemical reaction that happens within cells to release energy from the food or the nutrients that have been absorbed. This is essential for other processes in the body to occur, including movement. External respiration includes the intake of oxygen and the release of carbon dioxide, and it's often called breathing. All living things move. This may seem funny when thinking about plants, but even plants have the ability to track the movement of the sun. All living things have the ability to respond to the environment, the ability to, to detect changes in the surrounding environment. Living things can react to things such as light, temperature, smell, sound, heat, and water. They are able to react in response to danger, such as a predator. So if these are all the living things, what makes something not living? Well, non-living things, they're not made up of cells. They don't reproduce. They don't grow as they age. They don't take in nutrients. They don't excrete waste. They don't respirate or breathe. They don't move without external force being applied. And they don't respond to the environment. So as a recap, all living things are made up of cells. They all reproduce, they all grow, they need to be able to take in nutrition and they need to be able to excrete waste. They respirate, they move and they respond to the environment while non-living things cannot do these.